Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. Today we are talking about body shaming and our next question is, do you think overweight people are prone to sickness and poor hygiene? Let me know what you think in the comment section. It causes diseases, yeah. But about the hygiene, I'm not that sure about diseases, yeah. There are some diseases which are caused by big bodies. You have them, diabetes, you have others, uh, so several diseases from science that we are learning. The fatter you are, the shorter your life expectancy. When you are eating at a height, you are 5 foot 7, 120 pounds, so you fall. So your height should match your weight. And here, uh, you have organs like, for example, the heart, Kama kuna fats around the heart, you overwork the heart, so you pump blood visuri. That's why being overweight is important for half a Yeah, it causes diseases, but not poor hygiene. Mm -hmm. Diabetes. Diabetes, uh, heart diseases. It is the same heart diseases in general. Lab done the same arteriosclerosis. Yeah, something like that. Being overweight for sure causes diseases because they are. Okay, there are diseases connected to being overweight. But let me say that it doesn't necessarily mean that when you are when, when you're overweight you must be sick or something like that, yeah. But there are diseases like high blood pressure, high blood sugar, being obese. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, on the matter of hygiene, I think it's it's just the matter of Kauna juu kwa gafiti, amu juu kwa gafiti. Soka juu kwa gafiti, obviously kuna vile, kuna parts za muli yako, I think kuta insist on juu, kuna vile ni kanya mazako zi usagi na wei. So it, you, you just have to, I think, kusha wakila saa, alafu kukuwa keen on your hygiene. Usijia chilie tu, nagiet, watu tu waoge. Alafu, on the matter of health and... Uh, and ukweli ukiwa kuna vile ukiwa ukiwa overweight kuna diseases zenye most times zinakupata so i think people should just take care of their body yeah and god will bless you uh, i can say it increases the chances to to diseases and poor hygiene but it does not necessarily point out to uh, being um, unhygienic or having diseases so it depends on the maintenance of the individual. No. Um, as from Venetun Makwambia, it can be a disease, high blood pressure, scary na nini, skuma nisha tuwe ni lazy. No, na kuna nyo alizaliwa nayo, na kuna nye wame build from it. For example, unaza kuta mtu anakuwa stressed, na kazi na job, nini nini, sayo, Mafikra na nini, unona, so ananza kuindulge in overeating, unona, hizo vituka hizo. So, before, obe, obesity doesn't mean that he, it can come from being born with it or kujilete. For hygiene, it's kosher, but this is the diabetes. Awa tuwenye wanahemu wakiteremka mlima. Pase, I think, it's okay. Um, overweight hmm, diseases for hygiene up to some extent I might say that but uh, I don't know I don't think so I don't think so poor hygiene nah, I don't think so because poor hygiene is just uh, generally not taking care of your own cleanliness so yeah I don't think so I don't think so a disease the one that uh, cholesterol surrounds the arteries. It ca being over it causes a heart attack. Ni... Uh, there's uh, kuna ko, kuna obesity. Obesity na cause. Ni thrombosis. No, no. Again, the arteries na kwa field na cholesterol, which in a alter blood blood ni blood flow. Na patam to overweight na pata heart attack. Kuna the difficulties in breathing because of the pressure on the lungs. Overweight na beba ugonjwa mingi, hadi being hygienically. For instance, tomiyatu kweli, if I'm overweight, na manisha have a lot of 
nini toxins coming from my body again there are those places that I cannot reach in terms of cleaning sababu ya hiyo mobility iko limited kiasi mm. I, will, i will say it causes this and lack of hygiene improper hygiene of course poor hygiene hapo kwanza kuoga ni tabu sababu wanyama ziko mob naona alafu pia ugonjwa naye ni lazima mwili wako haitakuwa stable yeah tukaa hiyo yeah hey you need to go to most of was a big or koga na some sickness some sort of sickness eg diabetes and high blood pressure yeah it causes now me it's very minimal was a was a dog sana wenye ni wanono ndio uko anga wasafi the rest una kuaga Overweight people are prone to diseases like diabetes, obesity, um, high blood pressure and probably heart problems. So as much as people might be telling you that you're a bit or maybe overweight, you should try to keep on check, you know, keep on diet, try to exercise. And when it comes to personal hygiene, I do know that um, an overweight person is likely to sweat more than the average person and maybe also cleaning some places could be an issue but do not let that stop you from keeping your personal hygiene in check which takes us to our last question what advice would you give to someone who has been body shamed let me know what you think in the comment section kama ni akujiletea unaona uki eat junk food na nini it can it can bring the, those type of diseases but kama ni akuzaliwa Najua sasa hapo ndio daktari anafanya test na kuambia what's happening. So obesity can bring diseases. So si aje accept tu. Kuna wengine kukonda ni kukonda ni nini? Alizaliwa hivyo. Wezi wezi nini? Mimi hata ukiniambia ni kule sana siwezi niona. Yeye ni mnono, mimi ni mnono. Ukinitusi. Ni sawa. Ni sawa, it's my body. May think you just need to be hard on yourself. Uh, because East of I am nikature nika racism uh, the same way kuna some experience racism the same way you just have to cope with that na ukubali mwili yako una get because i think body shaming it's not all about to wase wanono hadi wase wakonda kuna vile wanatukano ni matter of ukiwa mdogo labda uko na chongolewa alafu una adapt to it una una i think ni more of coping mechanism you just adapt to it alafu na kuwa rais alafu uh, that thing only affects you kama wewe ni mse mwenye what za wasendio zina mata to your life na get but ka unajiaminia uko na self confidence nini nini hezi ku affect so we take heart jiaminie utenjo hiyo na si atiitaisha hiyo ni kawaida manze yeah lakini endelea jo endelea to keep keep pushing aitaisha hezi isha hata kama ni itaisha hapa just say for example friends uko nao atacha ku enjoy kuna place utaenda wase wataku enjoy wase watacheka wata make jokes about it just cope with it man my advice to people who experienced body shaming i'd like to say that uh, it all starts from you like you should start by loving yourself no na like appreciating yourself more being comfortable with who you are then once you accepted yourself and loved yourself the way you are other people will as well love you the way you are so it's a matter of self love self confidence they say that self a person without self confidence is like a tree with no roots so let's be more self confident self confident and accept ourselves the way you are so anyone who is uh, who has ever experienced body shape shaming you are beautiful you are just amazing the way you are lots of love okay to my gender kama you know in men uh, tunampi tunambiana ukweli kama uko na kitambi na wewe ni boy fanya ta sit ups kidogo kitambi pote unaona na kama ume uko na belly fat tuseme hata uko na fat uko kwa shingo just do something itapotea yeah yes, but to women uh, i don't know what to tell them i don't know because wana kasika tukambia ukweli ukambia demo like hii kitu imekutoa vibaya anasema mnamchomea so 
Um, I, I'd like to say everything has a reason. The reason why you, uh, you have that big belly or... Um, it has a reason. Maybe it has the maybe the reason for having a big belly is to challenge you to do more exercise, you know, and have resilience, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, Unambia, never give a damn about what people say. What's Unajijua? Like you know me, me. What I normally tell people is that you can talk. What is Mamisha binadamu kutonge? No, no. So the best. First thing, niku, niku ignore. Then second thing, una seek for help. Ju, you may say, ah, it's just an akawaida thing. But if you go to the hospital and when is akwambe, you know you have high blood pressure. You know you have this type of diseases. So and the third thing is that, um, kama ni akujiletea, avoid certain food lifestyle, food, um, certain certain ways of life. Dio, ukai fit, nona. Stand in the mirror, look at yourself, jambi u meiva. Ivo, uki jambi ivo, one week unfortano confidence ata inashinda ruto. U meiva, ivo tu. Eh. Yeah. Asikulia vitu pasona. Yeah. Juu kama meambiwa, eh, hey, we ukona mwili mkubwa sijini ni ako ivo. So you are supposed to accept it, ya, ni ko ivo, and work on it. Na kama ukona mwili ndogo, ya, ni ukweli ba, naka mwili kangu, ni kadogo, wacha ni kule ba. Yeah, that's all. Asichukulia vitu personal kuambiwa koza, waunambiwa kitu enye hiko. Maybe they should just look at the crowd that they're hanging around with. Most of the time it's those people who are closest to you that are body shaming you. So maybe you should look for other people who actually accept you the way you are. And uh, yeah, I think they should uh, look for other people, better people, positive people, something like that. And also maybe they should, uh, they should also t uh, try their best to improve the situation. Okay, I'm going to curb the self-confidence. The moment you are confident in your own skin and in, you, in who you are, I don't think anything can put you down. Again, surround yourselves with positive people. So you can thrive in, a, in an opposing environment. I won't thrive there. So you can do what all of you are against me, and then I roll with you, no, no. So if anyone has been body shamed, I'm a, a victim of body shaming. Surround yourselves with people who won't body shame you. Again, find a true circle of people who are appreciative, and also, it's going so dependent on others' opinions. No, no, carry your own opinion, which you live by. Set your, set your own rules, be your own man, be your own person, I would say that. The Wakonde people, you just eat, we kula unaone pungu ongeza ongeza kidogo ushikike alafu watu menona excess sika mimi mimi sijanona like ni mko extreme punguzeni unajaza dunia like akoe tuna motive yake like me advice naweza mpea ni assume vitu zenye wasi wanasema Assume vitu zenye wasia na sema, ndo ataka fiti ya kiwa ignorant. My advice to any overweight person out there is that you should not put pressure on yourself, but also be mindful of your health. So make sure you be on a good diet. Also make sure that you get to work out. Someone said you look at the mirror in the morning and I absolutely agree with that. I feel like you should affirm yourself, tell yourself those nice words you'd like other people to tell you and that way you're gonna be very confident. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I'm your host SK Gitonga. Ciao!